everybody, happy Motivation on Monday. Kyle Collins here with Life Coach Chris Burrell. Chris is going to tell us one thing that we can do to make sure that we get the most out of the holidays for ourselves and for our family. Cool, thanks. Absolutely. Thank you. Um, you know, I want to talk about tradition today. Traditions. Traditions. Love it. So, um, a lot of us get so focused on those gifts. Mm. You know, are we getting the right gift for someone? Mm -hmm. Are we spending enough for mm -hmm. it? Is the right color, mm -hmm. right stuff? Mm -hmm. Will they like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All know. these considerations. Was yes. it their style? Yes. Oh, yes. As you're standing in the middle of the department store on the 23rd. Right? <laughs> <laughs> or the gas station on the 24th. Right. I don't right. know. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> but I want to raise a question. Yeah. Can you list all the gifts that you got last year? Huh. Hmm. Probably not. And how about from five years ago? Oh, that's good. I get your <laughs> going. Ding, I, ding, can't. Ding. I can't. I can't. Yeah. But yet when I ask the question flipped and ask you what's your most favorite holiday memory? Yes. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Something comes to mind, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's the moments like that you have. That's right. I mean, in the in the in the in the moment, it's the thing. Right. Sometimes it's exciting. Right. That's right. But over time, I think it's where you're going. It's like it's the moments. It's you share. more the moments. Yeah. That created the, those memories, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so, what I want to challenge everyone this year to focus on yeah. is instead of focusing on the perfect gift, uh -huh. why not focus on making sure that we're making those traditions last. Yeah. And yeah, carrying on those, in those. those traditions. Because those ultimately, as we just I saw know. between us, yeah. are what really are the long lasting gifts. Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. You know, and for me personally, you know, a perfect example is my grandmother makes this this lane cake that she only makes at the holidays. Lane cake? What is Lane it? Lane cake. It's like? got coconut and, you know, walnuts and oh, it's yeah. chilled and it's about eight different layers of cake. Oh, yeah, yeah, It's yeah. delicious. Yeah. But this is the only time of year she makes it. Oh, okay. And I know just from going, leading up to it, the week before, I start salivating. I know! Knowing that I'm going to have a piece of this cake. Oh, you know, yeah. now calorie-wise, it's <laughs> going to blow my diet. But, you know, it is a tradition. Yes. And it wouldn't be the holidays without it, without yeah. that aroma of the, the cake coming out of right. the oven. And, you know, the, the piece hot before she stores it in the refrigerator oh. for the rest of the, the, the weekend. Yeah. And, um, so... That for me is part of the tradition that I want to always ensure lives on. Yeah. And you know, if that means helping my grandmother with the cake now uh -huh. that she's getting older, that's okay. Yeah. yeah. I want to ensure that that tradition lives on. And I think that for me is more memorable than any gift. Yeah. Than any I gift love that. Gift. So it's making me think about traditions in a new way because it's it's like as you said, like the things that make the holidays the holidays for right. you, the things that your family does, the foods you eat, where you have the dinner, and how you exchange the gifts, mm -hmm. or things like that. Because mm -hmm. if you really, I'm thinking, if you were to invest in those things, you can kind of shore them up and build them up and make them more meaningful. That's right. Because you'll appreciate them. And they don't have to be big things, right? Yeah. Sometimes it's the simplest things, but things that. A little car ride to see the lights. That's right. I love that. That's right. So, yeah. what I think. The best way to approach the one thing mm -hmm. for this week yeah. is I want you to think about that holiday tradition um, that is unique and special to you, okay. that creates a, good. a great memory. Yeah. And ensure, think about how you can ensure that yeah. you can continue that tradition yeah. and how will you continue that tradition this year. So that's the one thing. And, you know, folks, if you don't have a tradition or if you're sitting there going, oh, I don't like any of the traditions. Yeah, maybe, they're, maybe they're too traditional or too, uh, there's not enough of you or your family right. in it you right. know, to make it authentic. Then change. Change it. Create your own tradition and start something new yeah. with this one thing this week. Right. So either way, you're going to wind up with a tradition that is yeah. memorable and long-lasting. You're making me so excited for the holidays. Cool. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, guys. Love that one thing. Kyle Collins here. Y'all be good. Chris Burrell. Thanks. Bye.